Hello everyone, welcome to Math Easy. Our topic for this week is all about factoring polynomials, part 1. This is part 1 out of 4 on this particular topic. Today we are going to focus on factoring out common monomial factor. And if you are new here, please subscribe sa ating Math Easy channel so that you will be updated on our topic. Sa mga teachers naman po, we also offer our editable PowerPoint presentations to save you time in your lesson preparation. You can check the link or you can message us on Facebook. Okay, so without further ado, let's now begin with our lesson. Okay, this will be our learning competency. We will be factoring different types of polynomials. In this lesson, we will focus on polynomials with common monomial factor and uh, the difference of two squares, quadratic trinomials, including perfect square trinomials in the next videos. And also in this video, we will also solve problem involving factors of polynomials. Okay, so let's have first a review. Okay, using a real life problem, let's review the different techniques on multiplication of binomials. Okay, so we have here this problem. So Aya loves planting vegetables in her backyard. To grow more vegetables, she decided to expand her square garden. Her father helped her by preparing a rectangular garden bed with a length of being uh, 2 meters more than its width. Okay, so paano po yung itsura? Let's say this is the original garden of Aya and gusto niyang i-expand. So her father helped her. Gumawa tayo ng uh, bagong expansion. So we have here a width of x and then a length of x plus 2. Why x plus 2? Because it says here 2 meters more than its width. Remember, width is the smaller side and then uh, the length is the longer side. So we have here x plus 2 for the length and then x for the width. Now, to calculate the area of the garden, she used the formula for the area of a rectangle. So ano na po ulit ang area natin? Uh, when it comes to rectangle, what is the formula? Okay, so the formula here is area is equal to length times width. Okay, so we have here our width and we have here our length. Is substitute lang po natin. There you go. So we have here uh, x times the quantity of x plus 2. Okay, in this uh, case, nauna po yung uh, width natin. Anyway, kahit alin naman po dyan ang mauuna, pwede naman po as long as the operation is multiplication. Alright? Okay, now, how do we multiply this to polynomials? Remember, this is a monomial and this is a binomial. So, here we can review our distributive property. Okay, so how do we apply distributive property? We multiply the, bin uh, the monomial with the first term of the binomial first. So we have here x times x. And then after that, we will multiply it also to the second term of the binomial. So, x times 2. Therefore, our answer is x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. The area of the new um, garden bed is x squared plus 2x. Okay, so ito na po yung bagong garden with this area. Area is equal to x squared plus 2x. No? Now, as a follow-up, we have here another situation but later on she wanted to divide this rectangular area into smaller sections one for each type of vegetable to do that properly she needs to know the exact dimensions again so now she's asking can we find the dimension of the garden again using this area expression so paano natin yun gagawin is it possible to go backwards from the algebraic area to the original length and width Makukuha ba natin yung original na length and width nito using this area? Okay, the answer here is yes and we can do that using now factoring. Yun na po ang gagawin natin. Yung reverse po, reverse process ng multiplication, that is now factoring. When we say factoring completely, the different types of polynomials, we mean breaking down expressions. Para lang natin siyang uh, binibreak down, okay? kabaligtaran po ng multiplication. Now here in this factoring, we can do different types of techniques, okay? We have here the first uh, technique that we are going to discuss in this video is factoring out common monomial factor. Uh, sa susunod naman po na video, we will be focusing on factoring difference of two squares. And then we also have here part 3 factoring quadratic trinomial and part 4 factoring perfect square 
trinomial. So, for this video, we will have factoring out common monomial factor muna. Okay, so let's start. How do we factor with common monomial factor? Okay, so this is factoring technique number one. Okay, using the example kanina doon sa rectangular garden, which has an area of x squared plus 2x, we will discuss the following steps. Number one is to break down every term into prime factors. When we say prime factors, these are the numbers or the terms that when you multiply together, it will result to the original one. So which is x squared in this case, ano ba yung mga numbers or terms na pag pinag-multiply natin, ang magiging result nila ay x squared. So we have here x and x. If you multiply x and x, it will be x squared. And they are called prime factors because you can no longer divide each of this factor. Kumbaga, ito na yung complete na factors nila. Okay? To produce the original uh, term. Next, for 2x, we will also get the factors of 2x. We have here 2 and 2 x okay meaning if you multiply 2 by x you will get 2x now the next step is to identify and factor out the gcf among terms so ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng gcf well gcf is the greatest common factor so among the following factors ano po ang common kay x squared tsaka 2x so si x squared merong dalawang x si 2x merong 2 at tsaka x ano yung common sa kanila they both have x. Okay? Isang x dito and then isang x din po dito. Kaya po yun yung greatest common factor nila. Okay? Aanhin po natin yung greatest common factor. That will be one of the factors. Pag isusulat na po natin, it will be in a factored form wherein we have x as our greatest common factor times x plus 2. Ano po itong x plus 2 na ito? Ito po yung naiwan dito na hindi natin kinuha doon sa GCF. Alright? So again, x ang ating GCF. Ilalabas po natin siya. And then, ang naiwan is x plus 2. Yun po yung isang factor. So the final factors are x and x plus 2. Again, when you say factoring out the common monomial factor, nilalabas lang po natin dito sa parenthesis yung GCF ni x squared and 2x. Okay, let's have another example. We have here 6x squared minus 9x. So, how do we factor this? Okay, first, let's break down the term into prime factors. Ano po ba yung prime factors ni 6x squared? So, let's start with the numerical coefficient. What are the prime factors of 6? We have here 2 and 3. Okay, ano pa ba? Pwede ba ang 6 times 1? Hindi po pwede kasi yung 6 ay pwede pa rin po siyang ma-divide. Unlike here, 2 times 3, which uh, results to 6, yung 2 hindi na po natin pwedeng i-divide yan. Yung 3 hindi rin po natin pwedeng i-divide ito. So, ito na po yung mga prime factors niya. Next, we have here x squared. Ano yung mga factors ni x squared? x and x. So, next, we have here 9x. Ano po ang prime factors ni 9? We have 3 times 3. Si x, since x lang po siya, we can just write here x. Okay, therefore, our GCF, hanapin po natin ang greatest common factor natin. What is common among the factors of 6x squared and 9x? Okay, the common factors are 3 and, ano pa po? x. Okay, so meron pong 3 and then meron ding x na common. Therefore, our factors are yung ating GCF, which is 3x, okay? And then yung maiiwan, which is 2x minus 3, okay? Saan po galing yung minus? Dito po sa original na operation. So, these are now our factored form.
Okay, let's have two more examples. Then after this, we will have an exercise. Okay, so we have here number three. We have 5x squared y plus 15xy. So let's find out the prime factors of our first term. So 5. 5 is already a prime factor because we can no longer divide 5 by any number except for 1 and itself, okay? Next one, we have here x squared. There are two, dalawang x, and then y, okay? Since isa lang siya, then the factor is just y. Next one, we have here 15. Ano po ang prime factors ni 15? We can have 3 and then 5. Next, x. Sulat lang natin yung x. And then y. Since uh, mag-isa lang po silang dalawa. So we have here 3 times 5 times x times y. Now, which among these are the common uh, factors? We have 5 and x. Kasama din po ba si y? Yes, kasama din po si y. Therefore, our GCF is 5xy. Ano na po ang naiwan? Yun po yung maiwan sa parenthesis we have here x plus 3. Okay, so our factors are 5xy times x plus 3. Okay, let's have example number 4. We have here 12a cubed b squared c minus 18a squared b cubed c. Okay, so let's have the factors of 12. We can have uh, 6 times 2 muna. Pwedeng ganito muna ang gawin nyo. Hindi necessarily na prime factors ang kanyang factors. We can actually divide this uh, 6 kasi pwede pa rin po siyang ma-divide. We can have 3 times 2. Okay? Pero mamaya makikita po natin kung alin po ang common dito sa second term. Okay? Hindi po necessarily na lahat po ng mga prime numbers or prime factors, yun din po ang common sa kanila. So, let's see. Next, we have here a cube. Ang factors natin, tatlong a. a times a times a. For b squared, ilang b po? Dalawa, correct. And then we have here c, mag-isa lang. Next, for the second by um, term, we have here 18. Factors of 18 are 6 and 3. And then, uh, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi po necessarily na i-factor natin hanggang sa pinaka-prime factors niya. Hanggat meron po tayong makikitang common, uh, pwedeng yun na po yung ating factors. Next, we have here a squared. We also have two a's. And then for b cubed, we have 3b and then 1c. So, let's take a look at the common or the greatest common factors. So, we have here 6. Yun po ang greatest common factor. Kasi kapag ifa-factor out din po natin si 6 ng 3 and 2, okay? si 3 and 2, yun po yung magiging common sa kanila. Pero ang hinahanap po natin is greatest. Kaya pwede na po yung 6. Okay? Next one, we have here 2a. Okay? And then we have 2b. And then we have c. Okay? So, ito po yung ating mga GCF. So, we have, again, 6a squared, dalawang a, b squared, dalawang b, and then isang c. Tapos, ang nasa loob po ng parenthesis is yung mga naiwan. So, we have here 2a, and then dito naman po ay 3b. Okay? So, the factors are 6a squared, b squared, c, and 2a plus 3b. Okay? Okay, question. Kapag nagfa-factor ba tayo ng common monomial factor, kailangan po bang ipakita natin ang mga prime factors? Hindi po necessary. As you go along the way, habang napapractice nyo po yung skills na to, uh, you can actually go away with these prime factors. Okay? Pwede pong shortcut. Okay? Masasanay, masasanay din po kayo by just practicing, makikita nyo kaagad yung kanilang factors without going to the prime factors. Sa umpisa, you can practice this method para po hindi kayo malito. Okay? So, let's try using these exercises. I'll give you time to answer this. You can uh, you can answer this in a separate paper. Pwede nyo isulat yung mga prime factors. Pero kung nasanay na po kayo, without even using the prime factors, you can get the GCF and you can get the other factor. Alright? So, God bless po sa inyong pagsagot. Okay, I hope nasagot nyo na po. Now, I'm going to show the correct answer for each number. Okay, check po natin. So, the first one is... Uh, the, the GCF is x. Yun po yung common kay x squared tsaka 4x. Ang maiwan po is x plus 4. Number 2, 
The common monomial factor here is 4x or yung GCF natin. Ang maiwan po is 2x minus 3. And then next one, we have here 10xy. Ang maiwan naman po sa parenthesis ay x plus 2. And then last, we have here 5a cubed b squared c. And then we have 3a minus 2b. Okay, to double check, you can actually multiply this using the distributive property. Para po sa mga susunod na activities, eh, siguradong tama po ang inyong mga sagot. Okay? Alright, so that's it for today. I hope meron po kayong naintindihan sa ating lesson. And for the next one, ang title po ng ating video lesson is Factoring Difference of Two Squares. This is now the second part of our topic on factoring polynomials. Ito na po yung second method na pag-aaralan natin. So I hope to see you again on the next video. As of now, thank you for listening. God bless and see you on the next one. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa math isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye!